Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. I'm Christy Scheib and this morning we're visiting with Kristen Hildebrand. She's Warren County's Extension Agent for Horticulture. Good morning, Kristen. Good morning, Christy. Well, Kristen, I'm so excited you're here. Me and too. today you are going to tell us about a product that we may want to use while decorating this holiday season. Yeah, you know me, Christy, I like to decorate. And, and this is something that I obviously found uh, trending on social media lately. And I thought a lot of the viewers would enjoy it and appreciate it too, because I know that, you know, anytime I can find something new, it, there's always some excitement behind it. And that's with water beads. Um, so we're gonna actually be talking a little bit in this segment today on water beads, um, because um, after I, discovered that on social media, I was like, I did some research and I was like, man, this is a product that I didn't even know that was out there. And so it's an exciting product too, for a lot of other different reasons too, but water beads, uh, you and I were actually feeling this. They're it's so <laughs> stress relieving. And one of the, I know you're probably gonna cover this, but one of the purposes is for sensory play for children. Yes. And they really are soft and kind of squishy. Yes. But Kristen, what are some of the other uses Yes. For these water beads. Yes, I, I'm going to be talking specifically a little bit more today about decorating, but water beads, like you said, can be used for sensory play with children. It can also be used um, for a lot of other things. A lot of times they'll use it in a lot of house plants for water uh, to help it absorb more water that way. And so I bet once we got into this, you could probably find some more things uh, with using water beads. But basically when you buy water beads, um, they're just like a hard bead. Okay. And so what we did um, to show how we're going to use it for our decoration in the next segment is that we went ahead or I went ahead yesterday um, and basically added the water beads to this clear vase. And so it's like a hard bead and there's uh, different colors of beads too. So we're just using clear because that's how we're intending on using it for the arrangement later, but it comes in a lot of different colors. So like if you're doing an event for like say breast cancer awareness, you could get pink. If you're doing something with like little pops of red, you can get a uh, red bead. So, so really there's a lot of different colors and you can really have a fun factor with a lot of that. And it's a great way to add pizzazz. But what we did is we just put the beads in the vase, added the water to it, and then over time it just grew into these, um, like you said, squishy, translucent, um, you know, water beads. So the beads, you said they start out small and hard, but uh -huh. then once you add the water, the beads then absorb the water and they expand. Now, Kristen, mm -hmm. you work a lot with greenery and flowers, and you mentioned that these water beads can be useful to add to those fresh uh, greenery and flowers. Yeah, yeah, so you can use it, um, like especially with decorating, if you're going to be using it in that way for vases, you can add in like the real flowers, the artificial flowers. You can even find these beads in a lot of different um, um, shapes as well. So we've seen heart shaped. There's some that are a little bit more square. Um, some of them may be a little bit more jumbo too. Mm. So, and it really, there's no rhyme or reason to how you do it. So you can just add it to another uh, container, add the water to it and just let it absorb. But it's basically a water absorbing uh, polymer is what right. it is. So it just sucks it up the water and then it holds for, if you replenish the water every so often, it's actually going to keep for a long time. How long did you let these beads absorb the water? So um, we only soaked these for overnight. Yeah. It only recommends that you do that for like six to eight hours ahead of time. So, and like I said, you can add more water to it if you want it to get a bigger size. Um, but we're really excited because we're gonna put it in actually this upright vase with a floating candle on top. And that's one of the other ways that you can use this in an arrangement is with a floating candle. And it's just really, really fun that way. Now, Kristen, you are always so good to show us the new upcoming trends. And like you said, these water beads have been regulating around on social media. So I'm really excited. You have educated us on how we can use water beads in more ways than one, yes. <laughs> which we wanted to, to play with them. Yes. Like yes, they use for sensory play. But Kristen, thanks for joining us today. Be sure to stay tuned tomorrow as Kristen shows us how to use these water beads in a holiday arrangement. Thanks for joining us today on the Farm and Home Show and we'll see you next time.